great. So now talking about uh, sports NFTs, many sports stars are launching their NFTs and many sports leagues and championships are entering the NFT market. Is this just a trend or sports NFTs are here to stay? Of course, right. I mean, game and sports is going here to stay because which is entering because if it's generally if it, uh, in uh, old days you can remember that we used to collect a trump cards and everything. Yes. Right. Mm -hmm. And then like you know, if you buy a bubble gum, you can get a <laughs> trump card. People you have to collect everything, showcase yes. to the yes. friends, saying, Hey, I have a bubble gum, right? So mm -hmm. I have this sports card, I have this trump card, I have this WWE champion. Uh, I have this cricket champion. So this is very common to the human mindset. Mm -hmm. So people, human always try to collect. Uh, they always, you know, have a lot of love on sports, mm -hmm. right? A collection of those sports cards was initially in a physical world, mm -hmm. right? People used to collect. If you take for 20 years back, I used to collect all the top cricketers card and, you know, all the trump cards of WE champion and everything. But, you know, the same thing happens on digital world because the new generation only know digital. They spend a lot of time on digital. So, which is common. So, people, mm -hmm. uh, because imagine I can't, I spend a lot of money to buy this card mm -hmm. for no use. But That's I don't know that to retrade even in my old school days. Right. But still, I used to collect. I take money from my mom and used to collect whatever possible. But I don't know what I'm going to do with it. Right. <laughs> but at least now the new generation have an option. They can collect and then they can retrade and also the they can rebound. play the game using that. So it gives fun. So that's a Discord community. People have to used to talk and yeah. So I think it is here. Definitely, sports NFT is here to going to stay. Going to stay. So there's no doubt about that. Right. The commission there is. I'm, I'm worried about the PFPs. Whether PFPs is really going to stay for so long? New type of PFP collection can really get impact. Uh, right? Other than like, giving some kind of exclusive access, uh, right? Like body app. If you want a body app, they give exclusive the access to the community. Now, other than that, uh, they're not able to build a bigger use case and utility right, right now. Uh, so maybe uh, be... coming, maybe one or two interesting old uh, PFP projects are okay. Mm -hmm. They will survey. Mm -hmm. But uh, getting up a new PFP project will really make sense whether they will have a market for it or something, which I, I don't know. Mm -hmm. But I very strongly believe on gaming NFTs and sports NFTs. Okay. So there has to be some utility attached to the NFT for it to grow and to be, you know, and that's what we tried. Like we have a cricket game, right. which is a digital, I know it's a meta cricket league, so which is a cricket game which right. people can play through mobile. Hmm. They can buy the NFTs, play the game, hmm. and then, like, you know, play the game early. They can upgrade the NFT, hmm. retrade the NFTs, rent the NFTs. All this ecosystem we built. Hmm. We strongly believe on sports and game NFTs. Right. So, which is already there because even like if you take, if you go to Play Store, you used to buy guns and skins and power ups and everything inside the gameplay, right? right. Which is all already there right we are used to buy things on play store which is a 200 billion dollar market but that the, the challenge is you can't retrade that asset hmm. once you buy the gun in a play store you can't you take can't that gun it. out to your metamask wallet you can't use that gun in a different game hmm. and you can't rent the gun you can't retrade the gun if let's say i feel boring after buying the gun if i want to sell the gun to someone else right i, I can't do that so because of the digital identity Mm -hmm. There is no any digital identity kind of a block uh, solution. That's why the blockchain solves the purpose. It can represent a digital ownership, mm -hmm. right? So that's the reason that you know what we see. Yeah, generally NFTs will have a NFT will marry, you know, uh, gaming very well. So because of the naturally, it, uh, gaming is always in-game assets, right? It's a yes, digital yes, assets yes. anyway, mm -hmm. right? And also we give identity and ownership on top of it and option of retrading and renting. Hmm. The whole gaming market will get into NFTs very slowly. I'll be able to see the traction. So big games like uh, Epic Games and uh, EA Sports and those kind of big games are getting into NFTs now. Hmm. Yes. FIFA, F1, EA Sports are all... Every, everyone is getting into NFT yes, space yes. slowly. I think they, they know because uh, you can retrade because always say you can, if, you, if you give an option of retrading, I'll buy more assets. Right. I'll not right. buy one game, right? I'll buy one, uh, you know... Uh, hmm. A bar, you know, a gun, and then after playing it, I feel boring, and then I'll resell it, and I'll try to buy a new gun. So yeah. the economy will really, really increase, and more people get into the adoption. So there is a lot of buzz around AI, artificial intelligence. What is the role of AI in NFTs, and will AI-generated NFTs be able to capture the market? Of course, because that is a very simple use case. I would say hmm. generating uh, design or art through, you know, through AI. Or you know, Chat GPT or you know mm -hmm. other platforms you, you use, mm -hmm. the stable diffusion and those kind of platform we use to generate artwork for mm -hmm. a gaming asset is a very simple use case that everyone will try to do because there's time. We used to keep ten artists to do some kind of design. 
now we have only two because of you know uh, not diff- diff- stable diffusion and chat gpt kind of uh, ai platforms help us to really uh, save the time and give us more in- more options that is going to be the small use case what i see the bigger use case can game development can be uh, ai driven for mm-hmm. example if you play a car racing game mm-hmm. right you play the game what will happen after some point you feel boring playing the car racing game boy because you will have a same ro- race track you know w- 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 what is going to happen when or like they can't keep change the scenarios because it's all like pre built applications right so you will find some kind of obstacles while you drive same obstacle you find in the next travel of uh, even new user come and play so after some point you feel boring because there is nothing interesting to you right what we try to do using ya can we create a race track dynamically mm-hmm. right uh, so that what will happen for every gamer whenever you play the game you will have a different type of race track so you can't crack the game okay like, what will happen after playing some point people become so expert in the game right mm-hmm. because they able to crack the game they know oh, hey, this stage is something risky we should take left mm-hmm. so they keep play and then crack the game mm-hmm. imagine that every time ak able to generate a new race track dynamically with uh, new objects mm-hmm. so that creates a uh, now bigger uh, addiction and uh, you know immersive experience to the gamer Right, mm-hmm. which gives uh, huge impact and that is the way i see a so artificial intelligence plays a big role in keeping the game so engaging by getting a dynamic assets and dynamic scenarios in the gameplay which is something right now we saw all pre structured so instead of that if you able to bring everything dynamic through ai like we tried that we we made a dynamic commentary mm-hmm. when five cars are racing in a track right uh, people used to do commentary right we made it dynamic through mm-hmm. through ai which, which is awesome right? so because the ai able to understand the road track who is going first who is coming back so right. it give a very immersive responses to the gameplay right because mm-hmm. generally even the gameplay if you see you hear same communication same commentary mm-hmm. same term right that is a game but all our games are very structured one mm-hmm. right not meant for all are like more like if else condition and everything but this ai can able to understand the scenario that you are going slow you are taking a uh, you know you are eating someone you able to understand everything in process and give you a dynamic commentary giving a huge immersive experience so that is the way we see ai but ai right now w- what we do is very simple like generating artwork that everyone can do that is not going to be a bigger use case So Kameshwaran uh, Bitcoin Ordinals is holding on to its second position in the top NFT sales for almost a month now Ethereum NFTs are being burned using BRC721 e tokens on the other hand Ethereum has started using inscriptions how do you see this competition between Bitcoin and Ethereum and can Bitcoin NFTs threaten Ethereum NFTs and capture its number one position in terms of highest NFT sales and trading volume yeah i went to the event in a bitcoin miami event right if you take a bitcoiners right they say nfts are scam uh, ethereum is scam so they don't want anything other than bitcoin hmm. so they want all the capability of technology use cases everything under the bitcoin <laughs> so the core bitcoiners community they only care about bitcoin so those community all join together they want to build they want to make bitcoin you know su- super technology rich right so that's why this original was born hmm. right now the challenges are but techno bitcoin was not really developed for that so bitcoin is more like asset the mm-hmm. transaction performance are not really designed for this uh, you know and mm-hmm. millions of transaction is not mm-hmm. but they trying to build a layer like how ethereum was trying to uh, how polygon was building a layer mm-hmm. on side chain on ethereum mm-hmm. so right bitcoin uh, community is trying to build layers and other thing but mm-hmm. we have to see right because the bitcoiners have a more dominance in the space we see a recent coin and uh, pepe hmm. coin which is wet you know uh, 10000 percentage high yes all because it's the first token on brc20 hmm. right uh, so bitcoin is uh, so crazy and then like you know the went uh, go to the crazy price hmm. within maybe within couple of months right hmm. so bitcoin is have a huge uh, uh, domination hmm. in the space more than ethereum so but the technologically uh, the bitcoin original is not uh, a scalable platform or scalable technology to scale right. uh, but we tried that so we thought of trying some nfts to bitcoin originals and everything we got a gas fees can you imagine what would be the gas fees it's like, it when went you, up when to 64 dollars i guess hmm. 
yeah when i try it is became close to 100 dollars so right and then there is no logic right i am mm. selling a gaming nft which is worth 25 dollars mm. then paying 100 dollars of you know already we guys are uh, you know everyone you know having a lot of stress because of the ethereum gas fees mm. but uh, ordinals even much for 4x of ethereum in terms of gas fee that is a bigger challenge Right. I think someone will try to fix that. So that, that that's why the whole Bitcoin industry is working on it, right? They are mm-hmm. able to fix the transaction fee, uh, mm-hmm. gas fees. I mean, like uh, that will can get some kind of more adoption than that this. But we have to wait and see. So it is like for me, I don't believe. I think Ethereum is Ethereum. So Bitcoin is more like a gold, digital gold. So getting into technology on top of it is something is crap. So I don't. I'm not personally. I'm not have a big opinion about Bitcoin ordinals. Mm. Uh, but it is always trend, right? So people try to do something interesting to get the bull market again. So that yeah, is what right. they're working on. So when it comes to NFTs, Ethereum is the king, right? Yeah. So what regulations do you think are needed in NFT sector? If we talk about India. Yeah, I, I think if. Uh, in india as of now nfts and crypto comes under the same category hmm. there is no any special uh, no you know hmm. taxation or anything hmm. for nfts all comes under the vda virtual digital asset hmm. so it comes with every transaction you have to deduct 1% of tds hmm. whatever profit you tax. make you have to pay 30% of tax yeah right yes. that is something government have a regulation right now hmm. which is also applies to nfts i think uh, uh, but the, as of now the industry is small that's why like, there is no there is no very strict uh, special use cases and everything for nfts maybe in 2 3 years i think the market goes big i think they'll we have a separate use cases they'll try to understand if it's a celebrity driven nfts we launched amita bachan nfts right so if it's a celebrity driven nfts how to you know calculate the you know taxation and uh, if it is a sports driven nfts how to get calculation i think there'll be a more deeper uh, you know discussion will evolve but as of now government able to treat everything as vda Mm-hmm. all comes under crypto right so kameshwaram uh, what future do you see for nfts and which segment of nfts will gain the most attraction in the coming future i i feel like you know i feel like sports and game so sports which is going game. to have a bigger attraction so mm-hmm. especially in a market like india more than uh, uh, you know ip driven uh, i mean the ip approach right for mm-hmm. example uh, officially partnering with the uh, you know team launching a sports owned nfts and everything is also not making a big impact unfortunately but like if you take example nba top shots hmm. which is ip an nft right. they took ip from nba and then launched this sold they sold it for a billion dollar hmm. but the indian market was also trying to do something very similar approach by using cricket mm-hmm. but that is something is now indians are not ready to buy the Uh, you know uh, non utility driven nfts mm. and india is not a market for uh, just to have a collectibles and everything so the every indian or indian market generally need some kind of utility and some kind of benefit or either it should give a you know rewards or else either it should give experience right either one something you know people expect but just having owning a simple collectible is there a market but not a very big market so that is what uh, our understanding that's why we cautiously make the decision that whatever nfts we launch we always make sure there is a utility and gameplay and there is a proper use case for the nft so it should be sustainable on its own so that is what uh, we always focus on i think i strongly believe that uh, sports and game nfts will have going to have a bigger impact uh, in the space rather than collectible nfts right Thank you so much for having this conversation with us and for giving us your valuable time. Thank you so much. Thank you. Thank you very much. Sure. It's a pleasure talking to you guys. Thank you. Thank you. That's all in this special segment. This is me Ruchi Sharma signing off. Do like, share and subscribe to 3.0 TV and for more updates log on to our website www.3wastv.io or scan the QR code.